Ephesians 4 verse 32. Be gentle with one another, sensitive, forgive one another as quickly and thoroughly as God in Christ forgave you. So this picture was taken in the car. You can literally see the seat belt. I don't take a lot of pictures, but I like it. So we have one down, five more to go. Whew, we could do this, we could do this. Okay, let's set this one aside. Let's set it right here. Get another one, set that one right there. And let's repeat the process. The next picture. I don't have any um, recent studio pictures. These are just pictures I took on my phone. I don't have any of those like high quality studio pictures. I need to go take one of those. It's been a while I took one. Guys, I think I just found a, a system on how to do this in faster. So you, I do the shorter ends first and it makes it a whole lot easier to do the longer ends. And then the final end. Guys, what do you think? 
I like it. This is what it looks like right now. I can't wait to set these up. Two down, four more to go. Guys, this is the other one. Three down, three more to go. Whew, I'm getting tired, guys. This is the fifth one, one more to go. And the final one is done. I take back what I said, guys. This is way easier than I thought. All six frames done. Time to hang them on my wall. Time to see what they would look like on the wall. And guys, I'm not going to be drilling any hole in my walls at all. I'm going to be hanging them with this double-sided tape. I really hope that this holds it. The frames, they do not seem to be, you know, very heavy. So I'm very hopeful that... You know these double-sided tapes will be able to hold them on the wall securely and these tapes have proven to be very strong i've tried to use them to hang a couple items and so far so good they've been holding up really well so i hope that they do the same with my frames so now it's time for me to mark the areas on the wall where i want the frames to go on and then begin the hanging process i feel like i know where i want them to go now so excuse the many tapes on my hand i'm using this to you know mark the areas that i want the frames to go on so that's why i have them at the back of my hand you can see right here i put the tape that i'm going to be using to stick the frame to the wall i feel like i put a lot of tapes because i just don't want to take any chances you know with the frame falling down and like you know getting shattered or anything like that although this is not like real glass so it, it wouldn't break if it fell but still i don't want to have to you know take that chance so it's a double-sided tape take out the protective film one down five more to go i am totally winging this guys i'm not using any measurements or anything it's solely just my eyes Fingers crossed, everything doesn't come out crooked. the tv stand i already you know screwed a couple pieces together it's coming along really you know fast and easily the manual is pretty straightforward so i should be done in a couple minutes guys we have successfully assembled the entryway table it wasn't that much of a hassle but i'm exhausted unfortunately this is where we're gonna stop for today we're gonna pick up again tomorrow and um finish setting up the apartment for now i feel like we've had a productive day and you know i don't feel bad that we're stopping here because we've done a lot so tomorrow we're going to continue hi guys welcome back to my channel we're still on the setting of the apartment process guys it's taken a bit of time but i feel like it's going to be worth it i feel like the whole time that we're spending in unboxing setting up figuring out where everything goes i feel like it's going to be worth it at the end of the day i feel like fingers crossed that today we're gonna be setting up my entryway area i already started setting up the mirror for the entryway i started off camera i'm sorry guys it was when i was like almost halfway done that was when i remembered oops i'm not recording and then i picked up the camera to record and you know go through this process with you guys because that's exactly how i want this to be this is as much your home as it is mine because if you're among the peace family gang then this is your home so i want to go through the whole process with you guys i want us to you know be on this journey together so guys i'm just going to continue setting up the mirror for the entryway so i'm doing a diy mirror for the entryway so this is not a typical like 
mirror this is not a typical entryway mirror so i'm doing like a diy project so fingers crossed it comes out the way i pictured it in my head so this is what the mirror looks like this is the front it still has the protective film on it so that's why it's not really looking like a mirror i had to peel off the protective film but i'm not going to peel it off just yet i'm going to peel it off after i finish setting it off on the wall just to make sure that you know it looks good and my fingerprint is not all over it and i already you know added the tapes it comes with it comes with um tapes that are you know tapes to this paper and i already added the tape on this particular one and i'm just going to take off the covering of the tape and then set it up on the wall but this is what it looks like guys okay so guys we're done with one pack so it comes four in a pack one two three four and this is another pack so we're gonna open this other pack and i don't know if i want to set it up here to make it longer or if i want to set it up here i'm thinking do i want to make it longer horizontally or longer vertically what do you guys think i still not made up my mind on what i want to do on that part just yet but i'm gonna move on to set the tape on this particular pack once i have all of them taped up I'll figure out if I want to make it longer vertically or horizontally. For now, I'm not sure. Let me know what you think in the comment section. So guys, I decided to go with, you know, vertically. And I still have two more left. So I thought about ordering one more and then extending it to be wider. And then order one more piece to go here, to go here. Or just leave it the way it is and find somewhere else to put this around my apartment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. But for now, I'm going to try to remove the protective film on the mirrors so we can see what they look like. I really hope that they don't look distorted because in some of the reviews that I read, the problems that a lot of people or some people had with these kind of mirrors where, you know, the reflection, the reflection from the mirrors were always looking distorted and wasn't looking like a real mirror. So I really hope that that's not the case right now. So let's take off the protective film and see what the mirror actually looks like. Okay, the first one looks good. I don't see any distortion right now. The second one looks good. I don't see any distortion as well. What do you guys think? I think they look good. Ah, it looks good, guys. It looks good. <laughs> I'm so happy because I was so nervous. I'm like, if it doesn't look good, there's no way I'm taking this down. Deep down in my mind, I'd already made up my mind that whatever it looks like, we're going to take it like that because I'm not going to take that down. <laughs> But we're not actually done with the DIY project for this mirror. There's one more step that we need to do. I'm planning on putting a rim around the mirror. So guys, this is the rim for the second half of this DIY project. So it's also a mirror. I'm gonna show you guys a sticker of what it looks like. So this is what it looks like. I got the silver one, which is this, not this one. This is the gold one. This is the one that I got and it actually looks like a mirror as well. Just like that one has the protective film on it. When I stick it on the wall, I'll peel off the protective film. So this is what I plan to put around the entire mirror on the wall to give us that effect of this swoopy swoopy thing. <laughs> so that's what we're going to be doing right now. like this is the finished product i decided to put the rim on the entire thing i can still take this part off and extend it if i want to but i just feel like for now it's okay with the way it looks i really 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 like it <laughs> i'm sure you guys can also see that it looks really good it looks like an actual like full like mirror right it looks so good in person i don't even know if it looks that good on camera yet but in person it looks super 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 amazing and by the time i put the 
entryway table right in front of it and the things that go on top of it i'm so sure it would look even better i'm going to give you guys a close-up just a short montage of what the mirror looks like right now and i'm so proud of myself and the fact that i had this idea to do this And guys even after everything I still have some left over so if I want to extend it further I could take out this whole um, area right here and you know get some more of this size mirrors and stick them here and extend it to be you know way bigger and then use these remaining ones and finish up the rim if I still want to do that I'm not sure if I'm gonna do that but I love the fact that I have that option, you know, under my belt. So I saved a lot of money doing this and it came out amazing and I'm actually very happy about it. Next, we're going to move on to set the entryway table and some of the decorations that I want to put on there. But guys, something happened while I was setting this mirror up. So remember these vases that we unpacked yesterday in the previous vlog? If you haven't watched the unpacking vlog, go check it out. Remember that there were three vases. Guys, now there are only two. While I was setting the mirror up, this morning one of them broke I left it on the entryway table while I was setting up the mirror so while I was you know walking past I bumped into the table and it fell on the ground and shattered into pieces like it didn't even break just a little so I could like gum it back into place but it just shattered into pieces so now we only have two i feel really sad about it but it's okay two would do just fine i guess but yeah we're going to go on now to set up the entryway table hopefully we have this entryway looking amazing also i ordered something to put on this side of the wall um according to the eta on the delivery it says it would arrive today but it will arrive in the night so hopefully by tomorrow morning we get to set that up as well so that the entire entryway would come together and look exactly the way i pictured it up here guys no 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 guys this one just broke like just now we're gonna try to glue this back together I'm gonna try to see if I have glue or tape and tape this together. Guys, I just found the only glue that I have in my apartment currently and I just glued it back together. Hopefully it stays in place. I'm gonna get... It didn't stick, guys. It didn't stick. It almost fell out just now. Guys, it's not sticking. It's not sticking together. What do I do? Think, think, think. I think I need to put something in between like maybe sand or something okay guys I'll figure out what to do and I'll see you guys when I figure something out guys I let it dry for a couple minutes looks like it's staying firm so I don't think it's really really strong yet but I think it's it's getting there it's getting there so I'm gonna gently place the flowers inside hi guys welcome back to the channel 